Okay guys, I know it's been a while, uh, and today we are going to be doing some mushroom hunting, but before we get today's video started, I would just like to show you something in my front yard I noticed while uh, mowing. So I was out mowing just a while ago, and I noticed the growth of two little baby puffballs. They're just going right in my front yard. So it's just crazy where and when mushrooms can grow. Like These puffballs are just growing right in my front yard. So I thought I'd share that before we get today's video started. So anyways, let's get in the woods and look for some mushrooms. Okay guys, today we are going to be looking for a mushroom that I believe is better than morels. I know a lot of people say this about different kinds of mushrooms that they find. However, I truly do believe that these mushrooms that I'm picking are better, better than morels. They are way easier to find. You find them in bigger quantities uh, most of the time. Like I said, they're way easier to find than morels. They grow longer than morels do. And I feel like they're not a super popular mushroom that people look for. So when we get up to them, I'll explain what they are and uh, how to cook them and like stuff like that. And there's a tree up here that I know has them. So I'll see you guys there soon. Well, here they are, guys. These are called golden oyster mushrooms. So, like I said, these are called golden oyster mushrooms. Um, these ones look like they might be just a bit old. Uh, just because these ones are starting to brown right here. Uh, these two clusters look like they're going to be okay to put um, This log, a few years back, actually had the entire log was filled where all the bark was. The, this whole dead log used to be full of bark. Um, and now it's kind of lost its bark and just started producing these sections that it has bark. Um, so oysters actually grow under many different kinds of trees and logs. Uh, on trees, they grow up high up on trees and then the logs, they just grow like on tops and on the sides here. Um, like I said, these mushrooms are way easier to find them or else. They grow longer um, and they grow in bigger quantities uh, most of the time. So. Um, these are very good to cook. They taste just like morels, maybe even a little bit better. In my opinion, I like these better than morels. Um, I did find a few morels this year, and I actually compared these to morels, and uh, surprisingly, these came out better for me. Um, you can pick these with a knife, but you don't need a knife. You can just pick them off the log. Uh, most likely, they will grow back in the same spot every year, uh, just kind of like morels. And yeah, those are oysters. Um, I'm gonna pick these and I'll show you them closer up and in more detail. Um, they usually, or most of the time, like all the time, grow in a yellow-ish uh, color like this. Um, there are many different kinds of oysters. There's elm oysters, there's white oysters. Um, as long as you know what you're looking for and you know how to identify it correctly, uh, they all are edible, uh, all of the oysters. And I'm gonna pick these and I'm gonna show you guys them up in closer detail and yeah, go from there. We go harvested just like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what these mushrooms look like up close. So as you can see here, they have this yellowish color. Uh, they're bright yellow. Um, very, there, there's very few mushrooms to mistake these as. It, um, there's almost like none to be honest. So they're bright yellow on the front side like this. Sometimes an even brighter yellow. These ones are just starting to go bad. So uh, I have about two or three days to cook these up and then they'll be bad. Uh, how I store these is I store them in a brown paper bag inside the fridge. Uh, it lasts them up to a week or so, I'd say. And then the back side has like these 
gills. Um, usually you can look at the backside and tell if the mushroom's good or not. If there's a bunch of bugs in here or it looks like gross or whatever, um, I wouldn't pick them. But as you can see, that's what a golden oyster mushroom looks like. This is what we're going to be harvesting today. So we're just going to walk through this woods back here and harvest a few more because I just cooked up all the last ones I have and I need some more in my fridge. So let's get after it. called ink cap mushrooms. I'm not quite sure about that. I'll do a little bit of research and put a picture of what these are up on the screen. But um, I'm pretty sure these are called ink cap mushrooms. Um, I do not believe they are edible, but still a cool mushroom to see in the forest. One thing I've noticed this year is I feel like the mushroom season is coming up very quickly, um, quicker than last year. And one thing that sucks about mushroom season coming early it's when it comes early it always seems like you have really hot weather after the mushrooms grow early and it just puts an end to them so quickly and it's I've checked a few of my oyster spots and there's been oysters there but they're just shriveling up so quickly because of the hot weather uh, it's about 80 degrees right now and it, it puts an end to those mushrooms really quickly luckily I do have a few spots that are in the shade, so hopefully, hopefully that will uh, make it so they last a bit longer and make it so I can possibly pick some more today. Um, I love mushroom season coming early, but I hate it at the same time because it just it just puts an end to the oysters so quickly. But I think we're gonna have a few seasons this year. I think they're gonna grow in a few different seasons. Um, I have a really good spot that I think I'm either going to go to next weekend or the weekend following, or maybe I'll get there sometime during the week after school, but I have to get there because it's just such a, such a good spot and I just don't want to miss out on the opportunity of not being able to pick the mushrooms there. It's so beautiful there and I just would love to have the opportunity again to pick the mushrooms there and see beautiful nature around me. Um, I love nature. And just getting out and walking in it is fun for me. So, well, I got a few more spots to hit. Hopefully, there's some mushrooms there. Um, if not, it is what it is, and we got our cluster for today. But I'll see you guys if there is some more mushrooms at the tree coming up, which I believe there is. These mushrooms are known as pheasant backs. These are the mushrooms I like to pick earlier in the season uh, because they're the first mushroom that grows and it's a good way to start the mushroom season out and uh, be able to forage some mushrooms you can eat. They are a good wild edible mushroom uh, found in Wisconsin. They are the earliest mushroom found for me. Um, very tasty and very good. And this is exactly what I mean guys. They just shrivel up so quickly. Because of this warm weather they just can't withstand it. I mean, you guys can see there's the absolutely giant clusters that I missed out on picking just because the weather's been so hot. These are just absolutely giant clusters. Look at the size of those. Man, I wish I could have found those while they were good. I actually did hit this tree when there was good mushrooms on it and I picked good mushrooms off of it. These mushrooms were like that big <laughs> and they've grown to be that big but the hot weather just destroys them so I can't pick them but whatever we got more trees to check so let's get after it
guys. I checked a few more spots. Um, I found a bunch of shovel up oysters almost everywhere I checked, uh, and a few shovel up pheasant backs. Um, like I said, I think there's going to be a few different times to look for oysters this year. I feel like this was one of them, the earlier season. And I feel like uh, that there's going to be a few more seasons this year and more times to look. So I'm not super disappointed. I am a little bit disappointed because I wanted to pick more than what I have. But can't always win them all. And I think that we're going to have more time to find more oysters this year. Um, if you guys want a how to cook oysters video, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see, whether it's fishing, mushroom hunting, uh, hunting. What what do you guys want to see? Just let me know, and I can make it happen. Um, like I said, I think oysters are a really good mushroom to look for. I think you guys should try looking for them. Um, if you find some, cook them up, try them. Tell me how you guys like them. If they're good, let me know. And if you guys don't like them, you don't like them, but... I believe these mushrooms to taste just like morels, uh, if not better. Um, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't quite as long as I wanted it to be, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Uh, nature has its own way of doing things, and we can't control it. And I just love taking hikes in the woods, looking at beautiful nature around us every day, and finding some mushrooms along the way. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see, and that's going to do it for today's video.